Hello dear Odooers, and welcome to this video about simple fields. So now that we know a bit more about Studio's basic concepts, it's time to put them to good use. As we mentioned in the previous video, fields are used to store data in our models. But that's not all. They also define the type of data that is stored within them, for example text, predefined values and dates. In Odoo there are two main categories of fields, simple fields and relational fields. Let's first discover what simple fields are. We're gonna look at the product form that I can access via the sales application right here. On this form, the product name field is a text field, can be sold, can be purchased or check boxes, while the product type is a selection field, where we can select one of several predefined values. Now let's open Studio. If I select one of the fields here, a new tab appears on the left with the properties. This is where I could customize the selected field. Here, I can indicate whether the field is invisible, required, or read-only. But we can even add conditions to these fields to be invisible, required, or read-only. Here, for example, you can see that this field is conditionally invisible. If I click on the button Conditional, you can see the condition. It will be invisible if the type of the product is a service. If we remove this condition, and confirm, the field will always be invisible. But let's not do that for now and undo our change. You can also change other properties, such as the label, the help tooltip to give users more details about the purpose of the field, its default values, and so on. Note that different types of fields have different properties, so the content of this tab changes based on the fields you have selected. And what about widgets? Oh, right. Widgets help you display the field's data in different ways. For example, the Invoicing Policy field is a selection field which uses a drop-down selection widget. But you could use a different one, for example, the Radio widget. This widget is useful when you only have a few options available and you want to see all of them on the form. A selection widget, on the other hand, would be more useful if we have a lot more options, as we would not want to see them all on the form. So don't forget to check out all the different widgets available when you add a field. That's it for this video, but if you would like to know more about fields and widgets, be sure to check out our online documentation. In the next video, we will learn how you can add a simple field to a view. I will see you then. Back to you in the studio.